And what's up, YouTube? How's it going for you today? Back to do some more League of Legends here. I'm playing as Vagar on a Summoner's Rift map here. So, uh, just to start off right off the bat here, pretty much I probably screwed up when I was trying to select the champ. I thought I picked uh, Vagar's uh, Masteries and Runes, but uh, apparently I didn't. Based on the fact that my potions did not turn into uh, the other kind, uh, the uh, the Poro, Poro, uh, Poro's candy thing stuff. So, so off to somewhat of a very good start there. But, but in my on my team we have a Mordekaiser. <coughs> excuse me, um, going on top. Uh, our jungler will be the uh, uh, Phil Sticks, while well, Miss Fortune and Poppy will handle the bot, bot lane. And I'm taking on against a Echo, where you will, who you will eventually see later on. Later on in this, uh, later on in just a few moments here. But I'm going to put down a ward there for that bush there, just in case I can early get early ganked. But somewhat off to a bad start there with my first uh, Q there. But uh, eventually get somewhat, somewhat pretty good uh, ability power as I get my first uh, stack there against the Echo there. But on the enemy side, we have... Uh, or Rumble taking on the Mordekaiser on top, and then we ha and then they have a, a Vane and a and a Janna, pretty much handling the bot, handling the bot lane, and and I believe Ramus, I believe Ramus was the uh, jungler for them as well. So so essentially, really, <laughs> been pinned into my own tower, where you will see quite, quite a lot in this, uh, this, uh, game, quite a bit, but really and truly the biggest thing for Vagar is to get stacked and get farm as well, because if you want to get farm as a Vagar, you're you're gonna have to build up a lot of farm as well as that. But uh, the first blood is the Rumble taking the Mordekaiser, which you will see quite a lot in this game. Rumble does take care of uh, Mordekaiser fairly fairly often in this game here, which which by the way this is a loss. Pretty much gonna be a loss. So, if you're expecting me to go all out OP and stuff, I do get that, but uh, it wouldn't be enough because my team was too heavy to carry. I mean, MF did a definitely did a pretty good job with the game as well, but definitely hard when you have to deal with uh, more than one Fed champ on the enemy team. And uh, this would also be a normal, so definitely something that you will definitely not have to worry about <laughs> as much. Otherwise, there would be a lot more flaming as well than need be. But uh, eventually, I do recover. Nicely, despite the despite the ruins mastery mastery's gaffed by me. Yeah, once once the uh, once I took the potions, the pots rather. It's pretty much when I knew that I definitely kind of screwed up quite a bit, <laughs> which is fairly often whenever I play this game. Really, essentially, you have to play a really perfect game in order to be really, really good at it. 
multiple times, but, but essentially I'm trying to avoid try to avoid his attacks as much as possible because they do hurt quite a bit. Name and verb. Kind of a clever name there. And I'm just gonna have like a, like a little strange feel to it because the Mordekaiser at the big at the beginning of the game asked where th where the music went off to, and normally that was something that <laughs> normally something that I was like, what the heck? What are you talking about, dude? I don't understand what you're trying to. I don't understand what you're trying to say. But. But Echo did get a, did pull a fast one on me, and I could have, I could have probably landed a ult on him if I wanted to. But there would have been no guarantee that I would have gotten him when he was not even not even less than 50% health, which is something that you should do with Vagar. Vagar's ult. Because it's pretty powerful once once the enemy is below 50%. But the more lower uh, enemy champion's health is, the much easier it is to really take him down. But And I wanted to stack more, so... Especially on him. Which he really essentially allowed me to get stacks on him as much as he wanted me wanted me to but that's really essential really and truly this was not a really good really good game for my team especially the especially the top and the support not, not very good uh, the poppy Never really. I mean, Poppy's more of a tank, tanky champ than really a support. So that was probably kind of what spelled our doom. But what she'll eventually see is the Janna get really, really fed. I mean, for the most for the most part in the game, she would not die. It would not even really be till probably late in the game that she actually first died. As so I head back to tower here to get some more farm here, and I would have to do it very, very quickly in order to to pretty much stop the to stop the echo from really getting too much damage on my tower. But fortunately, it looked like at that echo, I want to go back to his tower as well. So, well, I'm taking a look at the bot lane here. Pretty much, they we're really getting their stuff pushed in quite a bit, but. But they would get they would get a turret turret kill out of it. That would be one of the two one of the two tower kills that they would actually get. And they would actually get from the game. But for the most part it was really essentially the other team that took over took over the map control by taking turrets. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, sleepy. Um, but really, just keep stacking. Just keep stacking him. And run back to the tower. And we would actually get our first kill. First kill of the match. With that MF, MF kill. Off of the Ramus. And the Ramus would actually get fed too, as well. Very, very difficult to take down, as uh, Ramus is definitely a tanky champ. 
that you would definitely that you would definitely find there as I land the E. Probably a little bit off on that E, but I wasn't necessarily sure if he would teleport a little bit more closer to the turret. But he kind of backed off. He backed off on me. Definitely try to be a little bit more aggressive with him. But, uh, for the most part, keep hurting him as much as I can. Because the W also stacks as well, but it's only for enemy champs from what I can remember. But,. Land just about everything on him, but he runs back to the bush and then he teleports there and he gets a little bit more health back. Yep, he's he's a very very annoying champ to deal with, as he also heals as well. Get some heals as well on there, but for the most part, he didn't really do a whole lot of damage to my turrets during the laning phase of the game, but towards the team fight phase of it, it was kind of more of a different story. But we'll get to that a little later on. But once once you have some AP items with uh, Vagar, he starts to get a little bit easier, easier to handle. But during the early game, he's really vulnerable. Unless you really go with like a pretty much a AP item to start with instead of a, like a Doran's ring or anything like that. But usually Doran's ring is something that I usually always try to go with. But but I would also another mistake that I would eventually make here is the echo going into bot lane without giving them an A. Pretty much a, uh, pretty much giving uh, the rest of the team a uh, mid Mia message. Pretty much a missing enemy. So I kind of messed that up a little bit, but I kind of messed up there. Just a tiny pinch there, but I finally get my first true uh, AP item there. So at least I have on over 100 AP health there. But uh, we would get our first turret, as I said before, and they would get their first turret kill there. So, not too shabby. But, boom, that was really essentially when I kind of realized that. Hey, I am definitely something not to be messed with, <laughs> but as I said, usually you have to get a lot of AP, a little, like a, over 100 AP to really start to take over, take over the crowd control, which is what Vagar is really known for. Take a look at my phone here. Okay. Nothing really interesting there. Alright, and then Echo would eventually go back to go back into the uh, the bot lane there. But unfortunately I was would try to help there, but it was a little bit too late there to save the poppy. <laughs> but, and then, uh, then pretty much MF bites the dust there in that 3v1 situation. She had the right idea, just try to 
get back the base, but unfortunately the they found her. They found her and they kind of kicked her ass. So uh, ripped to her. But almost, almost got him with that and. Uh, would pull off Ignite there, and then in my Q, and then he would finally die, and I would get my first kill. And then this Ramus decides to kill me in the process as well. And I would later on write in chat, Ramus buzzkill is buzzkill. Buzzkill, Ramus is buzzkill. But, whatever. So I would get my first kill on my first death of the game. I would only die relatively only three more times. But I would get kills about six more times as well. So definitely get on the watch with that as well as I wrote there. Buzzkill, Ramus, Buzzkill. Essentially, my team is really getting their ass kicked, and they will get my mid turret, mid turret there, take them down, and I would be man able to help out with Poppy, clear the creep wave, clear the creep wave there. But another another death for Mordekaiser there up top. Or might have been bottom. Not too not too sure. But but the three yop. Essentially, my first team fight, and I would get the kill on Echo there for my second kill of the game, and I managed to save them, save them both from utter destruction with my E, the hitbox, the stun box rather. But. Vain main doing vain main things right there. Really, really essentially a typical uh, vein build. A lot of, a lot of damage, a lot of critical, and a lot of attack speed. Quite a lot there. As I head on over to the top, help them out just to make sure that. Whenever comes to mind, there is there's a random freeze there. Where well, I probably spelled utter and certain doom, but managed to figure itself out. Managed to figure itself out quickly. Head over to and on over to the top and help with Mordekaiser get get our second turret kill at least attempt to get it but really essentially an overall awful game for Mordekaiser he kind of got his uh, kind of got his shit pushed in. Shit pushed in by the rumble, but do get a kill there off of the rumble. A very, very low, low health rumble, and really essentially just use use your ult against a low, low man champ, and then chances are you'll get the kill. But 
we get our first turret kill, and uh, Mori Kaiser decides to go a little bit too deep against the uh, freaking Vein Main and Aramis. And I would essentially pull out of that, because I really don't want to fight that. Especially Aramis, who is pretty difficult to kill and to begin with, and uh, and a vein that is also very tough to kill. But let's start to build a Merelicon to help out with my help out with my uh, cooldown cooldown effects. As well as more AP, because Vigor loves AP. Not really a damage champ, for that matter. And Rumble does get uh, does get a turret turret kill, which would be on the bottom bottom lane there. Uh, they're really getting pushed back quite back by that Janna. It was really fed. I'm pretty sure the pretty sure the Janna didn't actually die. Didn't die at this point early on. But the Janna was still over there, essentially on the other side of that wall there, but didn't really want to go fight it. And then they're starting to push into mid. Try to push it mid a little bit. And another, another death for Mordekaiser. <laughs> they're against, against the Ramus. And I don't even really think there was like a really uh, turning point as far as momentum, as far as momentum is concerned with this game. It was kind of a rough start to begin with. <laughs> I don't think we ever really saw a light at the end of the tunnel to get back into it. But the MF, the MF did did try her best. She actually end, uh, ended up going. Seven and eight, and I would be the only one that ended positive, as I would. Yeah, no, I didn't get a kill from that fight, but but I did the next best thing there. Pretty much just use my E as the stun box to keep unsuspecting enemies at bay. But they didn't buy the. But they didn't buy it. There would be at least one team fight that would prove to be ultimately pretty good for our team, but based on circumstances, by it. But we got a kill off of a very very squishy uh, vein. That's really essentially the thing with Vayne. You can build a lot of damage and a lot of critical, but if you don't build a lot of health, <laughs> you're kind of uh, screwed. As I try to get out of there as, quick, as quickly as I could from that Rumble's uh, flamethrower, but it would prove to be ultimately a pretty bad, bad choice by me, as I would extend a little too far. Just a little too far from there. But it wouldn't really take them all, all that long to get that turn kill. And and the poppy just, just hangs around. Just gets attacked a little bit too much there. 
Not sure if it was really a lag or anything like that, but you kind of got to escape when you can. As I trap the Ramus, who manages to escape the stun box. At ease. But at this point, I actually do have a pretty decent amount of ability power. Not quite up to Vigor standards, but as I do <coughs> absolutely wreck this uh, Vein Main again. And really, and really my W, my W and my Q are probably my top uh, top abilities with damage. With damage. I mean, I mean, the, I mean the W does only so much, but the but but it's the ult that really cleans up. It's really essentially the ult that really does a lot of damage. I head on over to bot, and it's really and truly a <laughs> lost game here. About seven minutes, about seven minutes left before the match ends. But not entirely sure exactly what the whole deal was with the team. Just uh, lurking around over there in the jungle when most of most of it was me trying to keep off, keep off the enemy, enemy waves. But I can't remember if this is the point where we, where they would actually get the Baron. Uh, let's see, nope, that was just Infernal Drake. So they haven't gone to Baron yet, but... Eventually they will. But five and two. I'm sitting sitting pretty nicely at five and two. Five and two right there. And then I kind of ran into a very very, very difficult situation, and I would get somewhat baited by my team. Uh, did essentially my best to ward off the rumble, but but it gets me again with the gets me again with that flamethrower that tends to have a pretty good range when it comes down to it, as the Ramus taunts the on some Ramus, as uh, Poppy would eventually meet a ultimate death there. I think this would be the part where they wouldn't get to Baron, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't, uh, can't entirely remember. This uh, this recording was actually done just uh, moments after I recorded this game. Essentially, a rare commentary. Normally, I don't even really do uh, episodes like this, but that would be something a little different. Just a little bit different. And I would try to get that kill from MF there, but that would be but that would be uh, Jana's first first death of this game. Oddly enough. But but pretty much it was already over. Way before we would actually get a kill off of her. It's the plane flying overhead. Not sure if you can actually hear it or not. But you can certainly hear it. And... A lot more deaths. 
fiddlesticks. The fiddlesticks did not really, not really great, but not really, not really essentially all that great. But he did okay, for the most part. He, he, he showed up, he showed up, did his jungle thing, and then he died a lot. Died a lot, so... Whatever. Doesn't matter. But see the vein clearing a clearing a creep wave in the mid lane, but but uh, my team would ultimately try to steal Baron, but it would it, it it would just not even really happen. It would just not really work. As far as stealing Baron, it would just not really work, but eventually I would do, I would come up to help them out as another team fight ensues, as we try to gang up on the Ramus as much as possible, but my first goal would try to attack the squishy Janna, which I did, and I would use my ult on the Ramus, and I would almost get a triple kill, but the MF had a little bit more movement movement speed than me, so whatever. But send pretty nicely at 7 and 3. 7 and 3 pretty good so far. But that would be the one last great moment <laughs> in this game for our team. Probably the only probably the only real good moment. So I would do an all chat there. <laughs> and I would say, I didn't mean to. And then Rumble does eventually say, now you're done fucked up. But what would, um, would eventually head back to base, get some get some more OP items as I'm sitting at three thousand gold. But we we'll get Ludens and I would eventually start to build some death cap. And MF dies. Dies there. Is there? I do try to try to help my team out as much as I could, but eventually get stuck on the turret turret there, and I would ultimately die as a result. And they would really gang up on me quite a bit. That'll be uh, I think that was like a four v one situation, even though they. Even though there was only two assists in that kill. But that would pretty much do it for this one. But until then, my name is Darth Tom, and I will see you guys next time.